Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today we're going to be talking about the comparison test with series. So the comparison test is a useful way in order to determine whether or not a series will converge without necessarily having to find the actual sum of the series. So for example, if we look at the series of 1 over 3 to the k plus 2, that series looks a lot like the series of just 1 over 3 to the k. And we know 1 over 3 to the k converges to 1 half, because uh, that's a geometric series and it works out really nicely. Now, this series, it goes to 1 half, but what about the 1 over 3k plus 2? Well, 1 over 3k plus 2 is always less than 1 over 3 to the k, when k is bigger than 0. So can we just stick that less than sign there? That is what the comparison test allows us to do. So the comparison test states two very useful properties that we can use knowing only how individual terms of two different series compare. So one requirement to use the comparison test is that every term in the series has to be greater than or equal to zero. So if zero is less than or equal to a to the a sub k and is less than or equal to b sub k for all k, and we know the sum of b sub k converges, then the series of a sub k will also converge, with the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of a sub k always being less than or equal to the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of b sub k. So this says kind of what we would intuitively think. If every term in our first series is smaller than or equal to every term in our second series, then the first series is going to be smaller than or equal to the second series. Now, if our second series converges, we have a series that is bigger than zero but smaller than something that converges, so the comparison test tells us that that other series must also converge. Now, we can also go the opposite direction, where we can say that if we have b sub k being less than or equal to a sub k for every k, and we know that the sum of b sub k diverges, then the series of a sub k is also going to diverge. So those are the two uh, halves to the comparison test. So if we put both of them on the screen at the same time, you can see the two similarities. If we have one series that converges and another series where every term is smaller than or equal to the terms in the convergent series, then that other series will also converge. But if we have a series that diverges and another series where every single term is bigger than the divergent series terms, then that other series will also diverge. Notice that it only says something about this. If we have something bigger than a convergent series, the comparison test tells us nothing. Same thing if we have something smaller than a divergent series, the comparison test also will tell us nothing. We have to have one of these two situations. So, let's try and determine if the following series will diverge or converge. So we have the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 3 plus k all over k squared. Well, this is greater than or equal to the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of k over k squared. Because if we remove 3 from the numerator, that's going to make every fraction smaller. So k over k squared, that's the same as 1 over k and the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k, that is the harmonic series and that diverges. So since the sum of 1 over k diverges to infinity, we also know that the first sum, the sum of 3 plus k over k squared, must also diverge. So let's do one more example before we finish up. So determine if the following series diverges or converges. The sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 2 minus k over 3k plus 7, or 3 to the k plus 7. Well, that is less than or equal to 2 over 3 to the k plus 7, because if we add k to the numerator, that's going to increase the fraction. Dropping the minus k is only going to increase it. And then if we subtract something from the denominator, that's going to make it so that, so if we decrease the denominator, that increases the fraction. So we can say that that is also less than or equal to 3 o 2 over 3 to the k. Now 2 over 3 to the k is 2 times the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the k. 
and we know 1 over 3 to the k, that series converges to 1 half, so this is going to be less than or equal to 1. So that tells us that we have a series less than or equal to something that converges to 1. So we know that the original series, 2 minus k all over 3 to the k plus 7, must also converge, although all we know is that it converges to something smaller than or equal to 1. We don't know what exactly it converges to. I hope this video was helpful in understanding the comparison test. Please check out some of my other videos, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these, and so I can continue to make these sorts of videos. Have a great day, and good luck with the rest of your math!